tell? Is this on? I don't watch Raw. It's all good. Nobody does. Everyone, welcome to another episode of What's Wrong with Wrestling. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with my brother Joe Pisano and Eric Slamilton Hamilton. So it's one of those weird shows where we had SmackDown, yeah, where nothing really happened before right. the pay per view, except really nothing. Uh, and then uh, we had an episode of Raw that had good matches? Question mark. Um, Anyone else? Anyone? No? So, what? what? I, I guess we'll have to read this and find out. I, I thought they were decent matches. I thought they actually tried. Some, Looking through. Some were okay. I see, I see a couple, I think, in All right. there. All right. Yeah. SmackDown had a good match as well. Yeah, yeah, True. Yeah. True. Uh, yeah. You yeah. know, it's, it's always awkward when it's we recap the pay-per-view, then we have to come back here and recap the SmackDown before the pay-per-view. Especially because I, lately the SmackDowns, like, literally nothing happens on them. Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. What about Rollins and Murphy? That happened. Daniel Bryan and Uso. That I, didn't I, happen. I, I, and then <laughs> and then all the other shit. Yeah. Daniel Bryan not making the Survivor Series team. Everyone honoring the Undertaker in every segment. Like, every <laughs> fucking segment. Oh man. I was rolling my eyes too. <laughs> yeah, I bet you were. Yeah. Uh by the way, I I sent you guys that video of Sasha Banks who couldn't she can do the eye roll like the Undertaker. She can. And she's like she does it very well. And then like the next shot is Bianca trying to do it, but she just looks cross-eyed. Yeah, she's like super cute video from both of them. I get she's do it. Bianca's like, "Did I do it?" It's like, "No, no, no you did not. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're adorable, but no." Yeah. So, uh, all right, we want to give a special thanks to Nathaniel Bain and Glenn mm. for signing up on patreon.com/what's wrong with wrestling. That's an awesome last name. I wish my last name was Bane. Of course. It's not spelled the same way, but, you know, still. You still, still say it, Bane. Does it mean that it's real? <laughs> oh, it, Nathaniel Bane? That doesn't sound made up to me. No, it All doesn't. Right. Pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, just uh, sign up like they did. Patreon.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling. You can check out the Survivor Series recap that we just did a couple of days ago. And uh, yeah. we got a bracket coming later this week. Yeah, we do. Uh, we're doing the New Day's best action movie bracket. Correct. We're doing it for them because they don't know how to do brackets. They did not do it correct. <laughs> no, their winner their winner was a movie I've never heard of. So Really? Yeah. yeah. I bet I know which one. Uh, yeah, it's old, right? No. Yeah. Well, oh, it's not. Well, it's like not that old. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So... Um, yeah, we're, we're going to do that, and uh, and then next month we're going to do Best Rivalry of All Time. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that one has some work behind oh it. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, for sure. I don't know what, yeah. was think, what I was thinking. Right. Like, at the last minute today, I was like, yeah, we'll do that. And then I was like, oh, boy, no, this is... I mean, no, no, we're going to include all the great rivalries on there, like Kushida versus Dream. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. You Good know, stuff. Natalia versus... Anybody, <laughs> anyone, really, really anyone. <laughs> All of those amazing feuds that she had. Um, yeah. There could, you know, if, Savio Vega, Stone Cold. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> huge. I mean, yeah, underrated, really. Right, honestly. Uh, that those those matches they had. Val Venus versus Rikishi. Val Venus versus uh, that sword. The Chinese mafia. <laughs> yeah. All the great rivalries. Yeah. yeah. And of course, Rikishi's ass versus everyone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So we'll touch on yeah. those. X Pac versus the Mean Street Posse. <laughs> sure, good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, so SmackDown <laughs> starts with the Keep Street going. Profits in the Champions Lounge. Ford mentions the Undertaker, and the lights go dark, and we hear lightning. Uh, then we hear "Rest in Peace," but it's just Biggie in a sombrero. Oh, okay, you weren't laughing. <laughs> oh. I know. Fuck me, right? Then they said, "Why a sombrero?" And he's like, "Ah, it's the only thing I could find in the prop room." Yeah, yeah. So Biggie then tells Ford and Dawkins that Kofi and Woods are here, and he does the New Day intro. So we got a Kofi and Woods in ring promo. Wild card. Oh, there's gonna be so many wild cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Better get that ready. I mean, it's sure. it's before this is before Survivor Series. Use this one. Yeah. You know, that's the one time a year where Raw and SmackDown superstars correct go yeah. head to head only yeah. once that's it only once be ready year. guys this is it be ready yeah and uh we woods, should keep a running tally next year yeah <laughs> apparently uh according to woods they were invited he says we were invited oh by, by who by who by. who 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 invited them who, who knows they invited each other yeah i guess so <laughs> 
Kofi invited Xavier, and Xavier invited Kofi. So they also pay tribute to The Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. Of course yeah. They lay down, then sit up. But they're interrupted by Sami Zayn. Sami says uh, he owes The Undertaker some payback for choke slamming him a while back, but WWE is letting him take the coward's way out by retiring. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, then King Corbin comes out and tells Kofi and Woods to leave because they don't belong here. Makes uh, sense. And then, uh, then <laughs> I out agree comes, with Corbin. <laughs> then out comes Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, and Ziggler says, "Corbin, we're bros, but you know the saying: bros before Haluva kicks." So many bad lines. So <laughs> many bad lines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Roode and Ziggler won a title match. So New Day uh, suggests that they fight Corbin and Sammy first, and whoever wins gets a title shot. Even though Corbin, Corbin and Sammy are not a tag team, or the New Day are. Or yeah, right. The tag champs of that. Maybe show. they just desperately want to leave SmackDown. I, yeah. I don't blame them. We just want to go back to Raw. Yeah. Uh, however, Rude and Ziggler attack New Day, but they're saved by the Street Profits. And if you didn't see SmackDown, I'll give you one guess what happens next. Uh, Teddy? The Street Profits say New Day, you should go home, and then they don't fight anyone. Oh, that oh, Joe. That oh. seems logical. That seems logical. That's, it does. Oh, come on. Like, hey, you're not the champs of this show, right? Leave. Please leave. Yeah, we'll see you Sunday, the one time a year we're going to fight each other. <laughs> yes. Or be in the same match. Yeah. Uh, just Wait. proof that Teddy Long is still booking SmackDown. We have the New Day and the Street Profits versus Corbin, Sammy, Root, and Ziggler. I'm not gonna... Andrew's favorite eight-man tag. Oh, my God. But Teddy Long does that. <laughs> Kill me now. <laughs> and just to save everyone some time, Ford hits Sammy with a frog splash for Thank the you. win. Thank, Thank you. you. Backstage after the match, Sammy takes offense to Daniel Bryan, who's smiling as he walks by. Sammy pokes and yells at Daniel. So Daniel pushes him to the ground, and Sammy runs away yelling, this isn't over. Calm down, Charles. And Daniel uh, then tells Kayla, I believe, in social distancing. Again. So does Daniel Bryan... That's three already. Does Daniel Bryan... uh, We'll do like a bad one-liners right here. You're already up to like six. That's three for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Daniel Bryan, the next IC champ? I don't know, but he's also sure. feuding with Roman in a way. Yeah. Is he? Oh, he's, yeah. He's I mean, feuding with an Uso. I mean, with yeah. an Uso. Same no. thing. Is he doing double yes. duty at TLC? I don't know. <laughs> yes. He said duty. <laughs> <laughs> so after the break, right. Kayla asked Daniel if he's concerned about coming back so soon after Jey Uso attacked him a couple weeks ago. Daniel says Jey Uso has a devil on his shoulder, and he, he really cuts a passionate promo about how he was in the hospital and how he, his daughter cried when she saw him. Uh, but it, So he says, you know, Jey Uso is the one who needs to be concerned. Although when Jey Uso beat up Daniel, like, he wasn't bleeding. No. So I don't know what she was so scared about. Internal. You know? Maybe it was the haircut that he got. Maybe Could she be. was afraid of that. Could be. Because that was a little strange. <laughs> Backstage, Adam Pierce tells Otis that he's the final member of Team SmackDown. And Otis uh, celebrates with Chad Gable. And Gable's like, we did it. We have work to do. Let's go. How did that turn out? Not good. <laughs> Not very, uh, they got swept by Team Raw. Clean a lot sweep. of work to do. Then Natalia walks up complaining that she still has to earn her spot on the team. Even though this is her third fucking chance. Third chance. Right. Pierce says, I was allowed to choose one person for each team, and that's why I chose Bailey. And Natalia's like, well, fuck. So we have <laughs> Natalia versus Tamina with Bianca Belair and Bailey on commentary. But Natalia makes Tamina tap to the sharpshooter in like four minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Tamina, who like, every time she comes back, they act as if she's, you know, this monster. Right, right. But then she always gets beat. But now she just gets beat immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Is she still a face right now? Who the fuck knows? Right. She's not around enough to know what she is. Yeah, right. you could almost like. I mean, it's, right. what it's, are you? <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, after the match, the Riot Squad comes out and Team SmackDown poses in the ring. Because and... now they're all friends. And again, you know how that turns out. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have the contract signing for Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre. Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. No. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. Two. Why does there have to be a contract signing for a non-title exhibition? Got to sign the contracts, Eric, to make it real. Yeah. Because they need an excuse for McIntyre to be on the show again. Yeah, sure. sure. Ding, ding. We need a like ding, ding, ding. Right. Yes. Correct sounder. Right. So Roman tells Drew, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you what, what Paul told me a long time ago. You're the right guy at the right place. 
in the wrong time. That's what Heyman told Reigns when he was yeah, you when know, he's feuding, feuding with Brock. With Brock right? mm-hmm. So Drew signs the contract and tells Roman, please underestimate me. And then Roman picks up the same pen, but Heyman grabs it from Roman and tosses it out of the ring. Like, don't use that pen because Drew used it. COVID. COVID. You don't, you he just careful. saved his life. Yeah. And he gives well, him Roman's a different gotta be pen. Careful, That's right? what a good manager And like does. Roman, <laughs> Roman like... Keeps him healthy. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like Roman kind of like laughed. I don't know if you know, like he was like legit laughing there. Yeah. And then you can see Drew. He whispers "bitch" at at Paul like, when he did that. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Like, why do you care that he used a different right. pen? Yeah, yeah. So Reigns calls Drew the secondary champion that WWE uses when he's busy. Roman also tells Drew, uh, "One day, many years from now, you'll have a chance to be the guy, and you'll love me for the lessons that I've taught you, and I'll love you right back." Because, oh. Drew, you'll always be my favorite number two. Yeah, poo-poo. <laughs> poop. <laughs> that's, poop. That's two poop jokes. Yes. Oh, boy. Duty. Um, Actually, I'm going to go bad line on that one. But, okay. by the way, they're both 35 years old. Yeah. So what's oh. Roman saying? That he's going to retire soon? Right now. Uh, I guess because he's new coming back. Well, so but he's Roman's... like, you'll be able to run the show when I'm gone. Well, Roman's They're the like... same age. Yeah. Well, clearly uh, now the Roman Rock's Roman has groom him to be an act, a failed action star. Roman has stated in, that's right. right. Roman has stated in interviews that he's only going to wrestle for a couple more years. Yeah. So I mean, you know, cross your fingers, but right. uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it helps when your cousin owns like a billion dollar production company. Sure. You know, cousin. <laughs> sure. They're hey, hey he put him in his fucking movie, didn't he? He did. He was so bad in that. Yeah. Rock's like, ah, hey, Joe. So <laughs> Listen, we looked at the footage. I'm going to be in this new movie where it's like Trojan guys. I can put you in well, the Well, he like, ended up having back. no lines, right? Didn't mm. they cut all of his lines? I, I don't think, think so. he spoke once. Yeah, yeah, they cut all of his fucking lines. Right. He just went, ooh, ah, or some shit like <laughs> yeah. that. And then speared some they guy. They danced and twirled sticks while guys with guns watched. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's exactly right. It was just like wrestling. That's literally yeah. what happened. Like, should we shoot him? No, no, no. Let's see how this plays out. <laughs> it's like, well, it's like uh, in end. <laughs> Let's see how this it's plays like out. An, it's like an end game where like Thanos and his whole army just stands there while everyone gets teleported in. Right, yeah. <laughs> should yeah, we, and should we attack while they're coming? No, 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 no. Let's see how many there are first. So is Thanos going to attack them while they're all coming out? No, he's going to wait. He's going to, you know, oh, that's nice of him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and why didn't he just rain nice fire over monster. all the good guys at that moment? <laughs> right. Why is he wait till all the troops are in? Fire. Tr- yeah, rain fire. But Messiah, sir, our troops. Our troops. I don't give a fuck yeah. about our troops. Just do it, because Scarlet Witch has my nuts in a vice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up, we have Seth Rollins versus Murphy with Ray, Dominic, and Aaliyah ringside because they're all big family now. They yeah. all love Murphy. Yeah. Mm. Uh, early in the match, Seth ties Murphy in the ropes and goes for a kendo stick, but Ray grabs it. So Seth. Punches Ray, throws him into some shit, and then Dominic runs up, but Seth beats him up too. He easily disposes of Ray Mysterio and Dominic and Mysterio. Dominic. Yeah. But like especially Ray. Just easily and then throws him away. Yeah. But I'm the Messiah, right? <laughs> especially Dominic, but especially Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ray's old, and- Dominic's young. Come on. Just in case you didn't know, that's a Simpsons quote. Yeah, it is. Oh. Especially Lisa, but especially Bart. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Seth gets back in the ring and knocks Murphy off the top rope and into the barricade. That was fucking crazy. Like, that was Murphy, a great spot. Murphy, like, jumped backwards. Yeah. Like, uh. Yeah, it was a great spot. Yeah. And then Aaliyah falls down, and Seth acts like he's going to, like, attack her or rape her or something. Something. But something. then we just go to commercial. Yeah. yeah. So we miss we miss it. Right. We miss the rape. Uh, then my Murphy and Rollins were fighting on the apron, and Murphy gave Seth a knee to the face, but he also falls off the ap- off the apron. And then uh, as Murphy starts getting back in the ring, Rollins gives him a curb stomp, goes for the pin, but Murphy gets his foot on the rope. Uh, then Seth gives Murphy the buckle bomb and goes for another curb stomp, but Murphy counters with another knee strike. Seth goes for another curb stomp, but Murphy counters again with another knee strike. And then he hits Murphy's Law. And then he has to crawl over to pin him. So it's like, oh, maybe Seth will kick out because it was, yeah. you know, he took him a couple seconds. But no, Murphy gets the win. Right. How do you think Becky feels watching Seth beat up 
like a child and threatening to beat <laughs> up another beat child. Up a child. He doesn't beat up a child. He didn't touch he, the girl. He's beating up Ray's kids every week, basically. <laughs> Becky's sitting at They're home. They're both like, adults. <clears throat> yeah. yeah no, know. I'm glad that uh, Seth did the right thing and, and uh, did the job yeah. to Murphy. Well, if he's well, going to be then gone he did for the a ultimate while. job uh, two days later. So, how old until Seth oh, yeah. considers yeah. his yeah, kid really old did. enough to like curb stomp? <laughs> clean your room, all right? <laughs> Then he shows a video. This is what I do to people who don't clean their room, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he probably makes his, he's going to make his kid call him the Messiah. Probably, probably. He'll have to worship him. You won't hit me. I'm your son. This is my best friend at WrestleMania. See how I just smashed his head in? Yeah. I'm going to make a prediction right now. Seth is number one or two at the Rumble, and that's his return. Like, he doesn't win the Rumble, but that's when he comes back to be like number, number one, one or two, two. would be a good. And he lasts a long time, but mm-hmm. then, you know, he doesn't So win. that's going to be like, one two months away about yeah. like he'll come to a huge pop and like if there's fans right. depends then, on the music you know what i mean when someone's gone <laughs> for true. at least two months yeah yeah true like yeah. if he comes out to old seth rollins music yeah. let's pray that this messiah bullshit's done with but yeah. it probably isn't and he just comes out to yeah maybe maybe yeah. the bro kick changed seth <laughs> let's Not- hope yeah. Fixed him. Oh my God. That'd be Let's great. So. Like then someone just goes, by the way, while Seth was out, the fiend went to his house. Anyway, <laughs> Seth is back. Oh, cool. So he's a good guy now? Great. Yeah. Oh, cool. Right. Because yeah. again, that works for everyone except for Goldberg and Kevin Owens for yeah. some reason. Yeah. So next Immune. up, we have uh, Sasha Banks and Asuka face to face. And this was awful. You are one of the greatest in the world. But as far as SummerSlam goes, you didn't know. <laughs> you are, but you're a good supporter. <laughs> are you funny? You are so funny. You got them jokes. You got them jokes. But it's not going to be any laughing matter come this Sunday when I trap you in the bank statement and I make you tap out. Because there is no question my, in my mind, Asuka, that I am the best of the best. <laughs> you can't see me! <laughs> How frustrated do you think <laughs> Sasha was? Where she's trying to cut a real promo. And she throws in the Cena thing at the and end? And Asuka oh, is rambling like a fucking moron. Oh my god. No, 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 no. A couple yeah. more Lars, maybe. My God. Oof. Yeah. Oof. A John Cena impression. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Is she our truth now? Someone has to try. Basically, she's female. She's our truth. I want to see if someone can translate. If any of our friends out there understand yeah. whatever the hell she's saying in whatever the hell language, right? Uh, please translate. I'm assuming it's Japanese. It's Japanese. Is she Japanese? Yeah. yeah. So please translate. Please. We have an our truth on every WWE show now. On Raw, we have our truth. Uh huh. On SmackDown, we have Oscar, and uh-huh. NXT, we have Leon Ruff. It's true. It's true. We have we. Uh, Hold on. Wow, just, and they're all champs. Yeah. They're Let me all, just uh, compose champs. an email real here, real quick here. Uh-huh. Dear the Fiend, please fuck up Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Love, please everyone. Please put your fingers in Oscar's mouth, please ASAP. P.S. If you have time, please win the twenty four seven championship and then eat it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. He could just win it. No one will ever go after him. That's true. You know? Never. Just like and if he Braun. puts the fiend mask on that belt, <laughs> oh my God. It, would, it would be an improvement. <laughs> so uh, Sasha kicks her shoes off, uh, which was the best part of the segment, and she says, uh, "We could do this right now." And uh, but then Carmella attacks Sasha from behind, and Asuka does nothing about it. Nothing. Carmella hangs Sasha upside down on the turnbuckle and gives her a super kick, mm. and then they hit. Like, Carmella has new music. Oh. I couldn't really hear it well because they were talking over it, but it's not F-A-B, you know. It's U-N-T-O-U-C-H-A-B-L-E-L-L-E. Untouchable? Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we have Daniel Bryan versus Jey Uso. Kayla interviews Jey before the match, and he says, the only devil talking to me is the one right in here, pointing to his brain. And he's telling me to go get him. Uh, little does he know Roman is in his head so it's really Roman yeah. right but uh, Daniel gives Jay a back suplex off the top rope in the end Jay goes for the splash off the top but Daniel gets his knees up and wins with a small package on Jay mm. 
Got to roll up that J. Yeah. Roll and then the J. show ends <laughs> with Daniel and a fake yes chant. Yeah. Of wow. Course. They've got they've got an amazing fucking soundboard. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> they have everything. It's amazing. It. It's you know, it's it's funny. We always say they listen to the podcast. Right, right, right. And that's another thing they stole. <laughs> I they can't stole wait. our soundboard. I can't wait for them to slip up and do the CM Punk chant. <laughs> we haven't heard the what chant. One in a day while. we're just by accident we're just gonna hear Who are you? Like yeah. on, on SmackDown. <laughs> Imagine. What the hell? <laughs> huh? Hey, that's gimmick infringement. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, they're let's... like those are our shitty gimmicks, though, yeah. guys. <laughs> right. We yeah. created their shitty gimmicks. Yeah. So, all right. Moving on to Monday Night Raw. I don't watch Raw. All right. Well, Roman, that's fine. We're going we to tell you about you. it. We're going to tell you. Are about you sure, it. Ra- uh, so, Roman? I don't know. So be careful. You know, yeah. it's fine. I don't Actually, watch Raw. okay. Actually, if you haven't listened to Survivor Series recap yet, yeah, go listen to it. And then come back to this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Where can you uh, listen to that? Oh, that's at uh, patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. That's right. Five dollars a month. Great Good job. job. Good, Good job. job. All right. So Raw begins with Adam Pierce and the men's Raw team in the ring. Yeah. Pierce brags about Team Raw sweeping SmackDown. He's on both shows. Right. You run both shows. Yes. Well, I mean, if like, you know, uh, the commissioner of a league brags about, hey, these guys are the best. Right. But he's like, oh, the they thing? swept SmackDown. Is he <laughs> the WWE Fuck commissioner? You. you were on SmackDown, no, asshole. Yeah, right. Uh, so he says now <laughs> one of them will get a title shot against Drew McIntyre. They all argue over who should get the title shot. And uh, then it's obvious Riddle has uh, been smoking a little too much. I would like to be WWE championship. And I think- hold on, hold on. <laughs> we're going to stop it right now. Let's go back a little bit. Hold on. He would what? like to be the championship. Hold on. <laughs> I would like to be WWE championship. <laughs> He'd like to be WWE championship. Let me I would like entertainment to be... you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me championship you. Oh my god. Let me be championship. I think what we all did last night was pretty sick. I mean, last night I beat King Corbin, and that was pretty sweet. And wait, does that make me King Bro? Do I get a crown? <laughs> And you know what? Honestly, I would really like to face Drew McIntyre because if I were to beat Drew and become the WWE champion, I'd get that dope sword and it'd go super well with my dope crown. Uh, Jesus, never let him fucking talk again. Yep. Seamus calls sure. Riddle dopey again, and then Riddle calls him Fireface again, and Seamus is like, "Don't call me Fireface." And then Riddle says, well, fire crotch was taken. Who? Who? Who Who has, who has fire crotch? Who, who are you? Who's fire crotch? Uh, I don't know. Riddle's wife after he uh, <laughs> bro kicks her every night. Wow. Okay. How many redheads are on the roster? I don't know. Mm. Not much. Not many. So Adam Pierce says, uh, last but not least, Braun, uh, you state your case as to why you should get a title opportunity. He actually said state your case. Uh, why you should get a title oh, opportunity. Oh, he has a much better fuck up. Oh, he does. Yes. And then since uh, Braun yes. is a retard. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't understand fucking the English language nope. as a face. Nope. As a face, good guy. Well, he's about to turn right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, what do you mean, I'm for that face? Oh, what do you do? You know what I've done for this company? You son of a bitch, motherfucker. I'll kill you. Bah! You don't have to read it. That's exactly what happened. If you're listening at home, just watch this on YouTube real quick. He headbutts Pierce, and uh, we go to commercial. (laughs) What do you mean last and least? That was really easy for him to turn heel. Right, yeah. Great segue. I mean, really, like, he was never really a baby face, but he was, like, laughing to Riddle's jokes. So I guess that was how they turned to baby face. But no, he's a heel again. Yeah. He's he's going, like, uh, you know, he's becoming, like, the big show. Right, Right, yeah. So... Good God. Later backstage, Charlie Caruso interviews Pierce as he walks out of the trainer's room, and he says, I had Braun escorted out of the arena, uh, but if it were up to me, I'd fire him. And then Caruso asks Pierce, what was the announcement you were going to make? But before he can answer, Bobby Lashley walks up and tells Pierce, I'm the only Raw champion who won at Survivor Series, so Mm. before you make any decisions, we need to talk. And we cut away. After the commercial break, Pierce is about to tell Caruso his announcement, but then Randy Orton walks up. And then finally later, Adam Pierce tells Caruso his plan. We're going to have a series of three singles matches. 
The winners of those matches will meet next week on Raw in a triple threat, and the winner of that match will go on to face Drew McIntyre and Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. <laughs> face Drew McIntyre and Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. And face Drew McIntyre. So is Drew is, is he going Drew heel? McInfart. Is he going heel? <laughs> like that's obvious. You don't make. <laughs> You don't say that without meaning to say that. No, that was an accident. No, it was not. Yes, it was. There's no way. Yes, How it do you was. accidentally replace he apologized McIntyre on Twitter. with McInfart? How how do you Right. It's too good to be fake. Like it's too good to be an accident. Maybe he was like thinking, God, I gotta fart and I don't want to do it in front of Charlie Caruso. Drew McInfart? <laughs> how do you it's not Mac and No What's a it, T? If it was fake Mac he, and uh I don't know. What's a what's a bad T if word? It was, if it was fake, it would have been way Tit? more obvious. Mac and Drew Mac and Titter, Titter, Tire, t- Yeah, that would have been that would have Drew Mac and Titty. How do you Mac and fart? <laughs> How do you even say that? That has to be planned. If it was, I'm convinced it's planned. It would have been so much more obvious. Like Drew Mack and fart. Sorry, the the concussion. That's true. No, I think it's not. That's true. I think it was way obvious. He went Drew Mack and fart. I mean (laughs) McIntyre. Who that's, says that's fart? Not, but he did. Play it again. Play it again. And the winner of that match will go on to face Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre for the WWE. He meant he was gonna because he, he he goes Drew McIntyre for the W. So he went Drew McIntyre for the W. But he was Drew McIntyre fart because like his he had a brain <laughs> fart. <laughs> when you have a brain fart, you don't say fart. <laughs> yeah, he did. He literally did this time. I knew. <laughs> Anyway, that's another wild card fart. I mean, uh, roll up <laughs> wild Wait fart. Wait All right, minute. next up we have the fart business. I mean the. <laughs> The the uh, the poo poo business. Right. I just think he's that bad. Like he apologized publicly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's he a, had to publicly apologize for a fuck up. Uh, yeah. all right. So is uh, he's just that bad? Like two you, marks over here, Mark Pizzato, oh Mark Hamilton. Oh my god, when you're you the up- biggest mark because you have no idea. You think everything's real. When you upload the show this week, is it going to be what's fake? Fart I think it's fake. Yeah. <laughs> what's fart with wrestling? Okay, you oh, think it's Lord. fake? I don't. I think he actually did it. No they way. didn't even mention it again. That's they didn't true, even mention yeah. it. They would have totally made fun of him. It's not like right. Drew R-Truth. would have walked out to what do you mean? What did you call me mocking for? Yeah, they would have totally I would kept bet going you with it if they actually pay things off on the show, but they don't. So we'll probably never know. Doesn't right. matter. Titus really slipped, and then they did had him do it again. They might take this and make him say fart every week now. <laughs> That's true. And and then you'll know it's fucking fake. That was goddamn hilarious. <laughs> Do it every time. Did you, who wrote this? He's looking at the hundred writers. Which one of you wrote this? None of us. He's just an idiot. Why'd you put him on TV? Wait, no, I wrote it. I, I wrote it. It was me. I'm, I'm a genius. genius. All right. So next up, we have the Hurt Business versus the New Day for the Raw Tag Titles. Okay. Uh, okay. What did? Okay. What did they do to earn this title shot? Lost, they lost the last two. Right. This is their third title shot. Well, third weeks. time's a charm, right? Right? Am I right? Wrong. Okay. You would think that, oh, okay, they are, now they're going to win it. But lately, no. Yeah. It hasn't been like that. When people get a third shot, they just lose again. No, you gotta, it's like five or six. You got to, you know, five or six. We'll yeah. get there. Don't worry. We'll get there. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll just wait there. a few weeks. We'll be, we'll, we'll be at six. Sure. So Kofi and Shelton uh, get double counted out. But then MVP uh, baits Kofi and Woods to restart the match, and they do. And uh, New Day still retains after Woods rolls up Shelton for the win. Man. Yeah. That's the second roll-up, I think. Three wild cards, two roll-ups, five bad lines. (laughs) Next up, uh, Sarah Schreiber interviews Lana backstage. She's so happy and says, Survivor Series was the greatest moment of my career. You mean only moment of your career. The greatest moment of her career was standing on the steel steps for an entire match and then being declared the winner. Yes. doing nothing. You came out... On a tank at WrestleMania with Rusev. Right. But this yeah. is the greatest moment of your career. Of her career. Sure. So then sure. Sarah asks Lana, do you think this means you'll get a title match against Asuka? And Lana's like, oh my God, I can't even think about that right now because I'll get squashed. But uh, I just want to <laughs> live in this moment. And if I'm dreaming, kill me. I mean, don't wake me up. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was what I was thinking. Uh, so later, Asuka grants Lana a title shot, even though we did this a month or two ago. Yeah. Right? Like, she had a title shot a couple yeah. months ago. Yeah. And it was by accidentally time? winning a battle royal. Right. Yeah, yeah. What right. the fuck? So next up, we have Riddle versus Sheamus. Sheamus hits White Noise off the second rope, but Riddle kicks out. In the end, Sheamus puts Riddle in the cloverleaf, but Riddle counters with a roll-up for the win. Number three. And I did Riddle, think it was a pretty good match, though, until then. 
Uh, sure. For Sheamus? Come For on. Sheamus. Riddle moves on to next week's number one contender triple threat match. Mm-hmm. Mm. Next up, we have the Firefly Funhouse. Bray and Alexa say friends are no good, and Bray has more PTSD of Orton burning down his house. Then we get introduced to a new puppet, Friendship Frog, tells Alexa, you can't just walk away from a good friend like Nikki Cross. So Alexa murders Friendship Frog with Bray's scepter. Yeah. And then they have a slideshow of all of Friendship Frog's greatest moments, <laughs> which I thought was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and including like pictures of real frogs and just stupid <laughs> shit. I thought that was great. And they act all sad, but then Bray says, it's a real shame he croaked. And then Bray and Alexa laugh. Ha ha. Uh, next up, we have a commercial for WWEshop.com. I wouldn't normally mention these things, but we did have a match in this commercial. Right, yeah. First, Weird. we have R-Truth hyping the merch uh, when Drew Gulak uh, hits him from behind with a Money in the Bank briefcase. Gulak goes for the pin, but the lights go off, and the ref and Truth run away. So Truth sold the briefcase and then immediately got up and ran away. Yes. Then the red lights hit, and we see the fiend standing behind Gulak. But he's a lot smaller than usual. Tiny. Weird. And we hear, yowie, wowie. And Gulak runs away, and it was Tozawa in the fiend mask all along. Okay, go kill yourself. Next up, we have Lana versus Asuka. For well, the- at, least, at least, you know, I said they might have a fiend in Bray Wyatt. Now they got a guy that could dress up as the fiend. Yeah. yeah and true. look just like oh, him. looks yeah. just like him. Just like him. Just image. like him. In yeah. every way. Uh, so next up, we have Lana versus Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship. Okay. With Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler on commentary. Thankfully, this match only lasted 30 seconds because Nia and Shayna talk shit to Asuka. So Asuka pours water on them and they beat her up. Nia then picks up Asuka and is about to put her through the announce table, but Lana saves her. And then Nia and Shayna challenge them to a tag match. So we have a fucking tag match. Playa. Where Nia and Shayna torture Lana, but Lana eventually gets uh, a way to make the hot tag to Asuka. Naya attacks Lana outside the ring and tries to put her through the announce table, but Lana fights her off. Naya then charges at Lana, but Lana moves, and Naya goes over the announce table to die. Uh, yeah. Shayna then puts Lana in the cure food of clutch, but then Asuka rolls up Shayna, Shayna for the win. Uh, that's the fourth roll-up, I believe. Mm. But uh, it's official. The yeah. Lana announce table streak is over. The streak is over. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Where was yes. Paul Heyman? Like, oh my god! <laughs> right. But one streak that did remain: shitty Lana matches. Oh, that will always remain. Yeah. 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 So now we're at in the uh, fourth roll up. We're we're a hundred and zero for Lana shit yeah. matches. The yeah. streak will continue. Wow. It Has will there never ever end. been a show where there's not a roll up? <laughs> Seriously. I'm pretty sure there hasn't. Uh, nope. <laughs> oh, 1999. Interesting. <laughs> right. Backstage, Riddle pitches some business ideas to MVP, including a pizza flavored yogurt that he calls Brogurt. No, 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 no. Excuse me, Eric. Excuse me. We're on six. Six. Nothing about Monday Night Raw that is fun. I don't watch Raw. Well, Reigns yeah. is pretty smart. Right. So, so be- if Riddle could just like shut the fuck up for fucking ever, I know like, that'd be great. Yeah, like it's is really McMahon sad. like one of these old people that are like, no, it's funny because he's, you know, because he's always high. It's like funny. Yeah. yeah. Remember Fast like Times fucking, at Ridgemont yeah, High? He's trying to be fucking Spicoli. You remember that? And all yeah. the writers are like, what movie? What? No. What? <laughs> we didn't see. Right. What it's just it? like our truth every week. You know, Sean Penn, the old guy. What about him? Yeah, he was in high school. Right. <laughs> Uh, so MVP tells Riddle, first of all, not your bro. And then Riddle says, oh, he's like, he's really sad. Right. He actually the, says, hey, guy Aww. I've never interacted with before on the show. Yeah. Bro. Then MVP says, get your best ideas together. And if we like your ideas, then we'll do some business. But if we don't like your ideas, we'll do some business. <laughs> so in the Seven. next week or <laughs> two, we're going to see like Matt Riddle give a fucking PowerPoint presentation of the Hurt Business. That's how he starts his feud with them. I don't think he knows how to use PowerPoint. Uh, yeah, that's, that's too. A good point. Yeah, he'll he'll have like fucking poster boards and shit. But he'll probably drawings. feud with every one of them and probably win the U.S. title. Oh, I don't know about that. Riddle? I don't think he's gonna win it. No. Yeah. He'll probably. lose to Lashley. No okay. way. Everyone loses to Lashley. Clearly. Lately. <laughs> Next up, we have Bobby Lashley versus Keith Lee. Uh, Keith Lee has new entrance music again that he raps in. Again, but it's uh, not as good as his NXT music. Of course not. But they tried to make it like it. Yep. 
Lashley fails to put Keith in the hurt lock multiple times. And then for no reason whatsoever, MVP gets in the ring and just blatantly attacks Keith Lee in front of the ref. Uh, but Keith Lee knocks him out. Like, Keith Lee wasn't even about to win the match. Right. They were both down. Yeah. Uh, this didn't make any sense. Well, no. so in the match, there's like a thing where Lashley picks up Keith Lee and he's like, I'm going to throw him into this ring post. Uh huh. And he right. basically throws himself yes. face first yes. into the fucking ring post. Yes. And busts himself open. Yes. And they yeah. still tried to say, like, wow, that was some great offense by Lashley. Yeah. It's like, right. you just ran yourself into a you pole, dumbass. Go- Face first, you just Goldberg yourself. Seriously, <laughs> like, yeah. like that's worse even. <laughs> Jesus. So uh, Keith Lee wins by DQ, and he advances to the number one contender triple threat match for next week. Okay. Yeah. Next up, we have Nikki Cross versus Alexa Bliss. Before the match, Nikki tells Sarah Schreiber, "I'm going to beat the fiend out of Alexa Bliss," and it's just like you know, poor Nikki. Like no one's rooting for you. No. Right. It's just. No. They're yeah. not doing her any favors. No. Also, Nikki has some shitty entrance music. Some new shitty entrance music. I don't even know how to describe no it. It's like, a, it's like a country song. No more like sanity music. Isn't she from Scotland? Yeah. Right. <laughs> they love country. Over. She should just what play Drew's fuck? song. Like the girl version. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I do love Alexa's remix music. Yeah. yeah, you know that that like has the fiend pop on it like a few times. I like that. Mm-hmm. So Alexa toys with Nikki at first, uh, but eventually Nikki starts getting offense in, but she's conflicted about it. Alexa laughs as Nikki beats her up, but eventually Alexa starts crying, and she seems like she's out of it. She's like, "What? What, what happened? Nikki, help me, please!" So Nikki and Alexa have a hug, but then Alexa hits like a sister Abigail for the win. And does kind the most do. adorable fucking pin yes. to Nikki. I've ever seen. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, now her. you just ruined it. I love her. Um, it was, no, no, we ruined it. That was exactly yeah, it. Can you do it again? Exactly. No, don't do it. Please. <laughs> Let me know <laughs> when it's done. Over. I can open my eyes. Let okay, me know when it's, it's over. It's done. All right, it's over. It's done. You're so lying. <laughs> You're okay. such liars. Okay, it's You're looking ah! at the oh screen. Oh, my God. You obviously can see it on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, after the match, Alexa laughs on the stage as now Nikki cries in the ring. Oh, okay. Nikki. Finally, we have we Randy. Have one for crying? No. We don't. Oh, we have, there's a few of those. There's no crying in <laughs> WWE. Yeah. Oh, there's plenty. Finally, we have Randy Orton versus AJ Styles with AJ's associate Omos ringside. Tom Phillips called this a WrestleMania caliber matchup. Well, it was, was a, WrestleMania a WrestleMania match last year. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it was. It was it's actually a WrestleMania, WrestleMania rematch. rematch. Uh, so AJ works on Orton's left leg for, like, the whole match, and they both did a great job selling that. Yeah. Orton selling his leg, AJ selling the fucking submission holds and shit. Uh, Orton and AJ fight outside the ring. Orton tosses Styles back in the ring, but then the Fiend appears from behind the barricade and briefly scares Orton. So the, brief, the, the Fiend does that, then he goes back down. And the cameraman is so dumb... That he goes to check, like, what? Let's go see. Oh, he disappeared. He disappeared. But it's like, well, no, he was actually over there, dumbass. Right. Like, you checked the wrong side of the barricade, you yep. fucking moron. Right. <laughs> uh, then back in the ring, Orton hits his DDT and sets up for the RKO. But the lights go out. The red light hits. And the Fiend is now standing on the apron behind Orton. So when he does the DDT, did you see the Fiend hop the wall? Oh, no. You didn't see that? I didn't no. notice that. Yeah. You could see as he hits the DDT, it kind of cuts to an angle like this. And you see him hop over the wall and crawl, start crawling under the <laughs> I ring. I gotta go back and see oh that Oh my God, now. it's great. It's just, I'm sure that'll I think be a lot on, of people were posting it too. I'm sure so that'll I'll be on Botchamania. Right. So yeah, the Fiend's standing on the apron and it, he scares Orton again. The lights go off and on. And then Orton's looking for the Fiend and AJ hits the phenomenal forearm for the win. Phenomenal. And then we hear Bray laughing as the show goes off the air. So there you go. All right. Who you got in this triple threat match next week? I mean, yeah, the only like, con- real contender is AJ. Yeah. You, but it couldn't be, right? You're going to burn AJ, I guess, because he's a heel? Of course you're going to burn AJ. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. And then Braun will probably be Royal Rumble, because he got suspended, they announced today. Oh, yeah. Suspended. Braun's been s- suspended. Indefinitely. Until the Rumble. Mm. So, all right, let's give some awards.
Who did you have for worst dressed? I had Seamus. I had Seamus. Oh, I'll sweep How did it. We all have Seamus. It, it was either that or Lashley covered in blood. You read my notes, didn't you? No. He did. Like, no one was like wearing anything different, so I was just like, well, Seamus always sucks. He always yeah, looks like Seamus. a homeless man at a bar. Sure. Yeah. Best yeah. dressed? Uh, Sasha. Sasha. A uh, sweet bit. Yeah. Glad to see you guys are. A uh, sweet bit. <laughs> what was that? Glad to see you guys have come to your senses. A uh, sweet bit. Clearly, uh, yeah. Sasha. Yeah. Worst acting. I had Oscar. Oh, I had Adam Pierce. You know why? Mm. He messed up like every line. Yeah. Adam Pierce for me. Best acting. Uh, I had Alexa. I had Alexa. Yeah, I had Bray. Okay. They're all great. Um, here's one. Worst comment. That match will go on to face Drew Mac and fart. What? Mac and fart. <laughs> to face Drew Mac and fart. Yeah. Even if I thought it was real, it's still the worst comment. I had Drew Mac and fart. Okay. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Best comment. I had Drew Mac and fart. <laughs> I know. I almost did that too. Like <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing at it. <laughs> maybe it is. Maybe it is the worst and best comment. <laughs> right. Mm. I had Reigns. You'll always be my favorite number two. Ah, uh, yeah. That's good. That's good. But it's 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 your Mac and fart. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's be honest. Roman Reigns can't win best it. comment. No. <laughs> Worst match. Uh, Lana and Asuka versus Nia and Shayna. Yes. Correct. Correct. Slow mo. Lashley uh, Lee. Lashley Lee. I had Natalia versus Tamina. That's fair. Remember yeah. that was a match. Not yeah, gonna. That, that was a match. Might have not looked like one, but it was. <laughs> not gonna hate on you for it. Best match. Uh, Rollins Murphy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Again, honorable mention of Riddle Seamus. Yeah. I really thought it was okay. Or uh, Orton and Orton AJ. AJ. No retribution on Raw this week, by the way. Right. Or Drew McIntyre. Right. Oh, right. He only wild carded. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I guess he's embarrassed after the loss to Roman. I guess so. Right. Worst move? Uh, Lashley diving headfirst in that pole. That's got For be it. sure. Yeah. For Lashley sure. Lashley Goldberging himself. <laughs> <laughs> Best move? Uh, I had uh, Murphy into the barricade. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that was so cool. It was cool. Yeah. God, we're all agreeing. It's like five, six sweep. It's too yeah. easy this week. Yeah. Worst moment or segment? Uh, I had the raw opening segment. It's pretty bad. Yeah. I had Natalia making it on the team. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I had the WWE shop commercial. I'm counting it. It's pretty bad. It's Fine. pretty bad. It was on the show. Yeah. Best moment or segment? That's uh, easy. I, I had the fiend creeping on Randy. I had Alexa uh, beating Nikki the way she did and the way she pinned her. Okay. Well, I had the Funhouse. Funhouse, yeah. Especially Friendship Frog. Yeah. He's Friendship my new, Frog he's my new favorite. Right, right, right. Will he be there every week? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I hope so. Mm. That's all for awards. Now it's time for some breaking news. Uh, it's official. WWE announced that they will be moving the Thunderdome to Tropicana Field in Tampa next month. The first show will be SmackDown on December 11th. Now, it's a dome. And fans or no? Well, they haven't announced that yet. Mm. But, they're, again, they're saying the Thunderdome's moving, which means they're taking the fan screens with them. Oh, right. Yeah. So, no. so plus, it's again, it's in a dome, so that doesn't help that... I mean, you know, they could do gonna... both, really. I mean, if AEW is having people at shows... Yeah, but their arena is outside. Uh, now, yeah. N- uh, NXT is having fans, but it's only like 50 fans. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a big enough stadium, right? It's a baseball stadium, so you can spread them out pretty far. Right. I, I'm guessing by Royal Rumble there will be some fans wherever they fucking do it. There I will hope. be fans in it. I don't have. I don't. I don't think so. I'm, but I I'm hope. hoping. I I'll, I'll, I'll fucking go. I don't give a shit. I, don't I mean, 100 percent so. they will for WrestleMania. Yeah. You know. We'll see. I think so. Hope so. Also, uh, last Wednesday, SAG, aka the Screen Actors Guild, tweeted. Powerful conversation with Thea Trinidad today. Really? We support her and others as they work to protect and empower themselves. Thea responded, very powerful indeed. Thank you for the pleasant conversation and insight. Yeah. Interesting. So that's pretty damn cool. Mm-hmm. That'd be funny if she went to AEW and then they started the union and then Cody's like, God damn it. I got to <laughs> deal with this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Him and Con are like, what? Vince still doesn't have to have a union and now we have to have one? Well, from what from what we've heard, AEW gives them some benefits. Yeah, so, that's yeah. what I've heard. Like, yeah. but you can still have a union though. Like they're probably not unionized. No, yet. right, right. So this would unionize well, all pro wrestlers. Someone yeah. even talked about like they get on a bus and they like 
all of eight, the roster gets on a bus and goes to the show. Right. You know, it's not like, okay, well, the next three shows are here, here, and here. See you there. Figure it out. Hmm. You know? Well, and also, they should be in SAG. They're actors. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. TV show. They're actors They're on a TV show. They're literally playing characters. Yeah, but sure. you, know, you know how they get away with that? They get away with it by calling it a sport. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's a sport. Sports it's like center. the NFL. Yeah. <laughs> like, There's that's no how, getting away with that's, it, though. It's not. It's but, that's, but Vince has gotten away with it for a long time. Well, no, the, you're for sure getting away with it. Right. I'm just yeah. saying <laughs> the argument's ridiculous. Did, uh, it's sports. Yeah, but you also admitted that the sport is fake. It's fake sports. <laughs> it's sports entertainment. There's nothing that talks about that in the book, right? All uh, right. <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> Fuck you. Did you, uh, did you see this meme? Right. It looks like The Undertaker. It's Andrew <laughs> Yang and Ben. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Speaking of The Undertaker, yeah. The Undertaker joined Cameo last week. And he did 30 cameos for his 30 year anniversary. God, don't. And it cost Eric $1,000. Shit. So do you want to play your cameo for us now? <laughs> Hi, Granny. That was hilarious, by the way. Like, yeah, yeah it costs a lot of money. But, like, that was fucking... If you saw The Undertaker, some of the cameos, the one he was talking about, the granny, he's like, 91 years, that's awesome. Right, yeah. The and most- at least he was in full Undertaker gear. I think, you know? I, like, think, I think they're pathetic. It was pretty funny. I thought it was funny. I don't know. <clears throat> there don't was know. Uh, uh, an email I got. Uh, Fitterman Sports is doing another signing with The Undertaker. Yeah. Which I would much rather pay the money for this and a cameo so like if you mail in an item it's a lot less money it's 200 bucks which I got the new Undertaker pop the purple one that glows in the dark good for you (laughs) I guess we'll see it on this table next week then or did you order one if it's in the box (laughs) you sure will if you order what's it gonna do in your room in the box Eric glow in the dark (laughs) okay glow in the Uh, dark so you can get the pop figure from them with an autograph for 240 where is this Fitterman Sports, like down in Baybrook, Webster oh. area. Uh, they can do the hat with the autograph, an urn, a title belt. What do you mean the hat? Like Undertaker's hat. Oh, so he, okay, so he won't be in gear. No, well, it's a, like, they're private, like you drop But he'll wear your, the hat? No, or no, you no. have to buy the hat? You, you buy the <laughs> autograph in the hat. <laughs> okay. So if you have something you want him to sign in your possession, yeah. you can mail it in, or you can purchase these items from them. Gotcha. And they're also doing inscriptions, $99 for three words. Inscriptions, very limited, must be approved. So I would imagine like... Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. Happy birthday, Eric. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So which one are you going to do? Uh, I-, I wanted to do like... Uh, <laughs> which one are you going like, to do? Filling holes uh, and the sucking I'm... souls. <laughs> no, but Jesus. are you going to do it? I'm debating. I would. What's love the cheapest option? Mail in an item because I have. Oh wait, so you don't get to have a picture with them? No. Oh, that's stupid. No, because it's not like a meet and greet. Oh, that's dumb. It will COVID. Yeah. You know, this is a way for them to still make money. So he technically has an OnlyFans now. That's crazy. Kind of. Yeah. That's funny. It's like, by the way, Vega's OnlyFans is not up right now. No. Yeah. I think she only made it because she was pissed off. Her Twitch makes the money. Well, she had subscribers. Hmm. Um, if I was going to have him sign anything, it'd be my Attitude Era title. All right, then. Because I have HBK's autograph on there. All right. You got any other news? Uh, no, I don't really have anything. Rumors? No. Well, then it's uh, trivia time. Oh, wow. No rumors. Just real quick. No, nah, the see, rumors were all You can see in this, uh, oh, like the rumors of uh, Lars and why Lars and Big E were uh, not yeah. a part of Survivor Series. Because they didn't want to bury him. Yeah. Or the Battle Royal. Look in the top right corner. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You can see it better when you're watching on the yeah. big screen. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's really silly. That's hilarious. Uh, you guys can work together or play separate. Maybe just first to get it. Uh, who am I? You're Joe. Joe. In the last five years, I have competed in the traditional five on five Survivor Series elimination match. Every year? Every year for the last five years, but no one has been able to pin me. Okay. Ron Strowman? That is correct. Wow, yeah, he has not been pinned in five yeah. years. He's been DQ'd. He's been, he's been DQ'd, counted, counted out. It out. Yeah. I have it here. So 2016. <laughs> uh, it was Ellsworth. Eliminated via count out. Because Ellsworth was holding his legs. 
Yes. 2017 and 18, he survived. 2019, he was eliminated via count out, I think, with Keith Lee. And then uh, this year, he was he survived. So. Not with Keith Lee, no, because Keith Lee lost to Roman at the end of it. Yeah. So I don't know who, who he cut count Oh, shame with. it. I don't know. It was another big dude. Yeah. Two Goliaths. Right. But yeah. All right, fan questions. That's the music. Uh, Justin Stewart. <laughs> like, oh, nice. Justin Stewart, will we ever see Brock Lesnar again? If so, who would you like to see him feud with? Who has he not feuded with? That would be Keith Lee. Could be good. That's true. Yeah. Keith. All right, then Keith Lee. And yeah, I think he'll be back. I, th- I wouldn't mind Brock coming back. I just, I don't really want him in the title picture. Well, too bad. I know. Zachary Brooks, early Rumble predictions, men and women. I think it should and I, I'm going to say I think it will be. I think what? it'll be Bray and Alexa winning both. You think? Yeah. Wow. Wouldn't that? And then like they just torture McIntyre and Asuka for the next few months. And then they both win at WrestleMania and the show closes with them both holding the titles up. That'd be fucking awesome. Oh my God. It's, yeah, it's too cool. It's not going to happen. Bust a nut. As good as faces? I don't it care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Who cares? I don't care. Yeah. Mm. I mean. Well, because now he's feuding with Orton. Yeah. So that's a heel heel thing, you know. Alexa's clearly not a face, right? Right. I know, so, but the, you know, loves them. I, I for would, sure. I would like. That's to why see, it wouldn't matter. I would like to see Bianca win it over Brain Alexa. Me? Come on, Kevin. Kevin Come Owens on. and Bianca. Uh, yeah, but it's their time. It's Bray and Alexa's time. You know, it is. It really is. Calm down, Triple H's old theme. It's okay. My time. Jake Baker, Push Fireberry Things That Ruin Wrestling, 50-50 Booking, Spoiling Returns and Debuts, or Part-Time Champions. All of the above? Yeah, but like, you know. Uh, the worst is Spoiling Returns and yeah, Debuts. Yeah, I think so. Then Part-Time Champions, then 50-50 Booking. Yeah. Yep. Jay, is Lana and Nia having a tables match at TLC, the lock of the century? Oh, mm. God. Probably. Probably. Yeah. But it's only announced tables. It's an announced tables match. <laughs> announced table match. <laughs> so first, Nia puts Lana through 10 regular tables. Yeah. And then Nia puts Lana through an announced table. Mm-hmm. With the help of 10 other people. Daniel Delaney is Drew McIn- Fart McIntyre's identical twin. And uh, will he win the Royal Rumble? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just maybe. If Adam Pierce is booking it. Uh, El Rey, PJ Perez. We know there can't exactly be another Undertaker, but who do you think has the potential to be on that level? The Fiend, if yeah. booked properly, right? Yeah. But he won't be. Well, when Bray and Undertaker fought at WrestleMania a few we- years ago, he should have passed the torch to Bray and sure. made him the new Undertaker. But you know, whatever. Well, but Fiend's cool. He had to. He can only lose to Brock and Roman. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that would have been the ideal person to take it from him. Right, beat right, the streak right. is Bray, but by then it was too late. Too late. Sorry. That was that whole storyline was just to bring Taker back. Yeah, because yeah, he was right. gone the whole time. Mm-hmm. Kyle Fox and Keith Lee has had three theme songs in four months. That has to be some sort of record, right? Yeah, that's true. I huh? think so. Just oh, yeah. It's changing. Be. Just keeps changing. Yeah, we'll see what it is next week. Vanguard two top surprise theme song you hope to hear at the Rumble. Well, like we I mentioned earlier, burn it down. That'd be a good. I mean, one. he can do it without the burn it down. Okay, well, fine. No. Oh, sure. <laughs> Who's the Mark now? Mark Pisano. <laughs> it says we'd like to hear. It's a fantasy question. <laughs> Jesus. You wouldn't want to hear it, fellas? No, nope, no, I wouldn't. No, nope, no. Nope, fuck not at all. you guys. <laughs> Nick Ryder, favorite type of match. Wait, you didn't pick, didn't they ask for three? No, yeah, we, one and a half. No, he said top surprise theme song you hope to hear at the Rumble. Oh, I thought it was a plural. Uh, Nick Ryder, favorite type of match, ladder, first blood, or casket? And that's I don't like first, That's blood. easily ladder. Yeah. You know? I'll first, do casket second. Yeah. First blood's always weird. Plus, the first first blood match came was literally in costume from head to toe. Yep. So if he was, he'd have gloves on. Like, if he was bleeding, you'd never even know. Right? He had one, I think he only had one exposed hand. So it was like, oh, he could cut his hand, but that so was crazy. like it. In WCW, there was a pay-per-view match between Hogan and Flair. That was a first blood match, and Hogan was busted like two minutes in. <laughs> yeah, and Hogan won the match. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Are you so serious? So it was an accidental. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. then how did they? That's hilarious. <laughs> they just like kept wiping it off. Oh my That's god! That's amazing. Yeah, dude, you end it. You we end need to it. Recap that. You definitely end it at that off, point. I'll have to find it. Oh my god. <laughs> 
This one's from uh, Quichtifa McAvity. Quichtifa. Quichtifa. Uh, is this a cool idea Quichtifa. or a dumb idea? The Undertaker passes on the character to another person. Same music, same everything. The Undertaker character lives on and eventually gets passed on again and again. Sorry, Chris. Thank you for being a Patreon. But, but that's no. a dumb idea. Yeah. That would never work. You ever see Razor and fake Diesel and fake Razor? No. It yeah. just wouldn't work. No one would accept it. No, now. why like, would we accept it? What the fuck? <laughs> Carlos Ramirez, since we're not getting Undertaker versus Sting, can we at least see them go to church together since they are both good, well devouted, born again Christians? Wow. That's, <laughs> that's a little too real. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Jacob Ayertz, uh, could you ever see Lana winning the Raw Women's Championship next year? Well, you know, I, I couldn't see her. Being the sole survivor at Survivor Series, so I guess anything's possible yeah, now. Sure now. Could we see it? But sure. Still no. But no. Yeah. Matt Sillett, how would you guys make your debut on Raw and SmackDown next week as a stable? We'd beat the f- ever-living shit out of Retribution. Murder them. We'd murder them. And you'd never see them again. Like, literally murder them. Liter- literal murder. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's not even fake. So that match, <laughs> it was... I, I flipped it. It was Flair that started bleeding five minutes in. And then Flair won the match. <laughs> okay. Flair beat Hogan? Yeah. This was WCW? 19, uncensored 1999. First blood barbed wire steel cage match. Wait, for the that's, WCW World Heavyweight But that's a picture of it? Hogan was that, back that, in... That's not a picture that's of it. That's just a picture of it. Or a yeah, picture but, of them fighting. Yeah, uh, but that can't be that match. match. It's not the match. Because he wasn't yellow in no, 99 no, no, no. WCW. Unless he did it for like one match. Yeah. Uh, Angie Piccone, does it bother you at all that uh, Taker didn't go out on his back? Well, his last match was a not even a match. No. Yeah, it so was I don't a, care. It was an action movie. You know? So, no. Not right. in that sense. No. Uh, Devin McSparren, Pushfire Barry, turning these pay-per-views back into a match done only when needed for a big feud. I've been calling for this one for a long time. Hell in a Cell. I've you know always said it should not be a pay-per-view. Right. So we got Hell, Hell in a Cell, TLC, and Elimination Chamber. I would, I would push Hell in a Cell. Stop calling it a pay per view. Yeah. Just do it when you need one. Agreed. Yeah. I mean, um, I, I was always a fan of and then elimina- random elimination. And then chambers. Elimination Chamber, randomize that too. TLC, yeah. I can give, I can care less about right. honestly. Uh, Luke Thomas, James Harris, what is your top three Dark Side of the Ring episodes? So uh, the Benoit. Uh, Owen Hart and Montreal Screwjob, I think. Yeah, I mean, those Macho was good. Ma- yeah, I mean, they were pretty much all of them were pretty great. Right. But those are my top three faves. Eric? Yeah. Right. I mean, Jason we were... <laughs> I was thinking about there was one that. that a lot that of great I, ones on there. I think it was the guy who started that other league. That, that was, was that one? Yeah, that was a great one. That was really good. The Road Warriors was that good. That guy was insane. Shit. So many good ones. Yeah. I can't wait for season three. Jason Deerham, will they totally reset Seth for his return at the Rumble as a babyface coming out to burn it down? Probably. He yeah. wins it, goes on to beat Reigns at WrestleMania. I don't know about all Jeez. that. I don't know about all that. Probably yeah, not. But that. he says, I already put $20 on him for the Royal Rumble, paying 15 to 1, by the way. Oh. Yeah. All right, well. Joe? Good luck, I what guess, is, Jason. What is Edge? Are you going <laughs> to... I don't know. I've been looking. 1 to 10? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, shit. He's, <laughs> that'll be his third return at a Rumble. No. Dan Hankinson, if Michael Cole walked in on his wife cheating on him, would he yell, but I do that, or, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> no, he would yell, it's the big dog. <laughs> That's what he would yell. Yeah. And then he would just fap in the corner. If she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's a cuck. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Peyton wow. Livingston, is WWE trying to be good? If they are, they're failing. They're or not. is it intentionally bad so that it gets publicity about how bad it is? I mean, it, they're not really getting publicity. Yeah. Mm. You know what's funny? As bad as the ratings have been, like Raw, um, in the 18-49 to 49 demo, they were second to Monday Night Football this week. Oh, wow. So like, even though the ratings are shit, mm-hmm. like they're second? just behind Monday Night Football in the 18-49 to 49 demo. Hmm. Yeah. Mr. De Jesus, will Randy Orton beat up Bray Wyatt, RKO Alexa in the Funhouse... Pull out his uh, pocket knife and throat cut the pig and take rambling rabbit as a hostage. Then comes back and realizes he's worthless and gives him up to mercy the buzzard while Abby the bitch is laughing her ass off next week. 
What the f- what? What? What the hell? And what? He's, he's just gonna <laughs> shake everyone's hand. <laughs> yeah. Yes, if you know what he means. Uh, pop culture junkie, fuck Mary Kill, mm. Io Shirai, and Asuka. Okay. She gets to marry both of them, or fuck both of them, or kill both of them. Uh-huh. Uh, a possessed Alexa Bliss and Shotzi Blackheart. Uh, or Melina and Gail Kim. All right, so I'm going to... Possess. That sounds great. Yeah, possessed Alexa will do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to fuck Eo and Asuka, marry possessed Alexa and Shotzi, and uh, kill Melina and Gail Kim. Okay. That's not bad. The only thing is, you're gonna you're gonna be married to Shotzi. Yeah, she likes and she ev- likes and a when lot you of- make her come. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, <laughs> Melina Gilkin. I follow Shut her on the Instagram. Fuck up. She likes a lot of cool things. So, Shotzi. Yeah, like toy tanks. Yeah, yeah. You like toy tanks too, Eric? Uh, no. By the way, heavy favorite to win the men's rumble as of right now. Any guesses? Not a name that we talked about. Big E. Yeah. Really? Heavy favorite. Oh wow. I don't that believe crazy? that. I yeah. think they'd be. I mean, they're I booking think he, him to the moon right now. Yeah, like I think they'd yeah, be I know. They're, booking they'd, him if he was going to do something yeah. like that. And he just women, shows up and wins the rumble. Women's more obvious. That will change drastically. Yeah. Nikki Bella. Yeah. All right. So um, <laughs> who's the, who? The, who's the woman? Heavy favorite? Alexa Bliss. Okay. Well, she's actually tied with Alexa. Bailey. Her and Bailey are tied. Mm-hmm. Bailey. That's not going to be Bailey. That's crazy. Talk about that. Yeah. No, Talk no about way. That. All right, that is the show. So make sure you subscribe to our podcast. Give us a five star review. Check out our official fart site. I mean, website. What's wrong with wrestling dot com? <laughs> fart the show. I mean, like the show on Fartbook, Facebook. Follow it on uh, Twitter, Twitter, and Instafart, Instagram at Wrong Wrestling. Get a T fart T shirt at Pro Wrestling Farts dot com. Pro Wrestling Tees dot com. They're doing their Black Friday sales. So. They are Pro Wrestling Tees dot com slash. <laughs> What's wrong with farting? Yeah. And then become a supporter of the show at fart.com slash fart 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 fart. <laughs> that was a wet one. <laughs> I'm going to throw up. Patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. Check out all the brackets, the Wednesday Night War recaps, all that good shit. Yeah. So such, such good shit. See you next time. Bye. Go fart yourself. <laughs>